But we begin tonight with a difficult moment in Tacoma. Fallen deputy Dom Collada's body has been moved from St. Joseph Hospital ahead of his final farewell. Thank you so much for joining us for your news at six. I'm Matthew Smith and I'm Hannah Kim. Even after death, Collada is a hero. As an organ donor, he is once again sacrificing and saving lives. Deputy Collada's remains were just moved to the Pierce County Medical Examiner's office so he can donate those organs. And that is where we find our Alejandro Guzman and Ali. Deputy Collada's body arrived there a short time ago, right? Hannah, that's right. Deputy Collada just arrived here at the Pierce County Medical Examiner's Office. And let me tell you, it has been a very emotional day. Painful to know that the community has lost a man who dedicated his life to serve. But at the same time, grateful to know that his legacy continues to live on. He will continue to save lives even after his death. As we talk about his chapter in life ending, we talk about now his next chapter in life. When he, he, we're talking about his last and final act of service, the gift of life. But before we talk about that, I want to show you exactly what happened today. These are images of today's motorcade as Deputy Collada's remains were escorted to the Pierce County Medical Examiner's Office. The moment started, or the movement rather, started at St. Joseph's Hospital where he passed after being shot Tuesday while trying to serve a felony warrant. Hundreds of doctors, nurses, friends, and colleagues lined the inside and outside of the halls as Dom was carried by his teammates. This was truly an emotional sight for many to see him take one last ride in the Bearcat where he was accompanied by Commander Sergeant Rich Scaniff, who was just released a day ago from the hospital after he too himself was shot during that same incident. We saw an outpouring of support. Dispatchers from South Sound lined the sidewalk as thin blue line flags waved high. Collada's arrival met with salutes from his colleagues as his teammates clung onto the Bearcat, riding into the medical examiner's office with him. We spoke with a longtime friend of Dom who says his loss is heartbreaking. A selfless man whose life was cut short. Take a listen. The best guy you ever met. He was so genuine, so friendly, so so honest. Uh, a true pillar of the community. I mean, he's, a, he's a hero. <laughs> And we wanted to come out and honor him as, as best we can. A hero who's continuing to make a difference in our community. Kalana's memory will live on through organ donation. This is what Sergeant Darren Moss had to say. He's doing something that's going to last a lot longer than, than he, he's, he might not be here, but his legacy is going to continue to live on in these other people's lives. And his family's gonna know that um, Dom's continuing to live on and passing life on to other people. Sergeant Moss says this was a beautiful transfer from St. Joseph Hospital to here, the medical examiner's office. Well, now I can tell you that as of right now, Deputy Collada's patrol car remains stationed outside Edgewood Police Department, where you yourself can continue to make donations and cards, flowers, candles, anything you would like to honor the fallen hero with. A celebration of life is scheduled for Friday, March 25th at 1 p.m. at the Church of All Nations. We should have more information posted on our website site. We're now live in Pierce County. Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News. Thank you, Alejandra. So Colada's final gift, his decision to donate his organs, that hasn't gone unnoticed. In fact, as we spoke with community members mourning, it was brought up time and time again. One firefighter said it spoke volumes of Colada's character. So he had a heart of gold. I mean, his body right now is being harvested for organs so others may live. I mean, that's that's selflessness, right? I mean, that's, that's the job. That's what we do. That's what we do every day. So to see someone come by and pay their respects for him being out there and protecting us, I mean, that's exactly, that's exactly why we need to do this, and we need to recognize that service. Just one more reason people have been reaching out to us, wanting to know when or how Collada's life will be honored. And one way is a special memorial fund. An official legacy fund has been created with the help of Tacoma Pierce County Crime Stoppers. All donations will go directly to Deputy Collada's wife and their young son. We put a link for easy access on our website. You can visit that anytime at fox13seattle.com.